Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. And today we're doing the wheel treatment on the 50. Uh, basically, um, to have a traditional custom, I'm thinking uh, white walls, basically big white walls, um, would be the white or the tires that I'd want on this. So what I did, um, I went out and robbed Elvis of its wheels, or its tire, wheels and tires. I had to take the tires off to put onto the rims. The, the rims on the, on, the fifth, on the Mercury out there, Elvis, is big bolt pattern. This is small bolt pattern, so I had to rob them and do that. So we got the tires put on this morning. We've been running like, like no other. Um, I'm gonna change, I'm gonna take these rims and tires off. We're gonna replace them with a 15 inch, and we got a 670, 15 Firestone Deluxe Champion tire, which I think is gonna look awesome on it with the ply crust. I'm thinking that's gonna actually bring the car just up one more level. So what I'm gonna do right in front of your very eyes is change some tires. <laughs> let's, make, let's make her look like something. Not that it doesn't now, but let's get the let's get the wheel treatment on, and we'll get a good visual. I have not got Doug or Nathan here today, so I'm on my own. But I do have my Queen Jolene. Um, let's take the hubcaps off. Thanks for coming back. I really appreciate it. And I want to send a big thank you out to Winnipeg. They were awesome. Everybody there that we met and talked to was fantastic. I keep saying that, but they were. Where did I put that? I had a screwdriver, I thought, take the hubcaps off, but I must have set it down somewhere. Yes, I did. So we're gonna make this thing really look good today. We're gonna put some white walls on it, and sometimes that's what it takes. It didn't look bad with these on it, I don't think. Not in my opinion. It didn't look bad with those on it, but it's really not that traditional look that we're going for. Fourteen inch caps, fourteen inch rims. We're not going to take the tires off. The rims are going to leave them right on there, and the reason being is uh, we'll use them on something else. They're already mounted, so that's what I went with. Get it, get up. Gear it up here. He's pulled off. Kind of excited to see my see it myself with the white walls on it. Have not seen this car with white walls on it ever. It's always had a black tire or this tire that we put on. No dust in that. <laughs> These are a 20, I think this is a 25 inch tall, 25 inch tall. Those are 27, so we're gonna be a little difference in height. Does not bother me. But it sure is gonna give us a fantastic look. Let's get her up a little higher. That rim lip tire gonna fall off. It starts falling off, just let me know, we sweetheart. There we go. Roll this out of the way. Now I'll keep that, and uh, the reason being is it's a nice tire, and it's a, probably something I could use on a different build. Now, me and Jolene cleaned these up the best we could with what we had. I'll leave that on there. It's a big tire, isn't it, compared to the other one? Seems to be. I've got to go up to get it on. Tell me when that center's up there, about center, sweetheart, in the rim? Yeah. About center? Just One more for good luck. Oh, hmm. Not gonna do that yet. Let's slow down here a second. Let's just pull this over here. I've got, see this sort of stuff? See this stuff? Looks good, but we're gonna make it look a lot better. Look at this right here. See this in here? See on the back side of that fender? See where there's like no paint on the back of that? I can't, I couldn't get my hand in my hand in here to paint the back side of the fender when I'm painting it, but there is no paint on that edge. So let's fix it. Let's fix it. And make this look good in here. I feel like anybody that paints a car or if you're doing your own car and your, your own project and stuff like that, and you're, you know, 
What can I say? You're trying to make it look as nice as possible. You haven't done a rotisserie restoration on it, but I should have jacks in. Um, haven't done a rotisserie, re uh, rotisserie restoration on it, so all that stuff is not painted. But you sure can black that out inside there to make that look nice. When that wheel's turning, you do not see anything in there, and that's what we're going to do. Just going to grab the jack stand, just to make sure. Jolene looks amazing today. She woke up seven, looking like a ten. Fina's home. We're happy to be home with Fina. Got to thank Danny for looking after. Thanks, Danny. We appreciate it. And Ada, friends of us. Friends of ours, they did. Trying to go as quick as possible. We'll just slide the jack stand underneath there in case anything decide to go stupid. Put that right there. Good. Now, got our tape. Let's get down in here. Now, 80% of the work is done, but there's so much more work that has to be done on this car. And what I'm going to say is, that's where Nathan will take over. Uh, he will come, over, come in and check everything out and make sure everything is tight and right. Um, he'll end up rewiring some of the, the taillights and that sort of stuff. Um, he's the man for that. Does an excellent job. And uh, that job still has to be done. Like, this car is not ready. By no means, it has paint on it. Sure. Just want to take it over a little bit further, I think. Just want to get it where it's... Let's do it. Just want to get a nice straight line so it looks like Hmm. Don't want to get paint on that. Don't want to get rock guard on that. Wherever I put the tape, I'm hoping not to get rock guard, obviously. Got to tape that off a little different, I have. There you go. Let's do that. Let's get our rock guard going. It's going to black, in, black out inside the wheel opening. So when the wheel turns, when you look in there, you don't see anything other than a nice black finish. <sighs> wow. <sighs> Almost should blow that out with a blowgun. But... <laughs> so when he's looking at me thinking, wow, did you blow that car off? Yeah, I did. See where that's all dusty like that? And we get that all blacked out, that's what it looks like. Fantastic, in my opinion. You know what that is? My belly button. Not looking to shoot the, the car inside where the engine is black. Not looking for that. Just looking for when you turn the wheel, you see nothing but black. You're never going to see any of that anyways. Right there. No doubt mine, you're not going to see any of it. Most of it, it will be right here. I'm going to lay down here for a second. doing this to clean it up. That's all I'm doing for. So the wheel, turn the wheel. These uh, rock guard cans, you really got to use them up as you open them or get them going because sometimes they fail halfway through 
and it is, you know, money, when that old rocker won't come out the end of that nozzle, called money. How do you take it back and say, I got a half a can here, I can't use it anymore? Well, they'll just say, well, that's too bad, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Come on. I'm gonna have to go grab another one. Alrighty. Not done yet. Not done yet. Gotta go get another can. And that's one of the things that sometimes um, when you see a car that's freshly painted, if you can see the paint inside the wheel well, it doesn't give it that great look. You know, you black that out in there. You sure can make it look a lot better. And that's what I'm trying to do. No, that's what I am doing. I think that the wheel treatment is going to bring it to our traditional custom. <laughs> Either I was looking at the computer the other day and you ruined the car with the color. <laughs> How would a color ruin a, a car? I'm not sure. It's still the same car. You might not enjoy the color. That's your belly button, but it does not ruin the car. Come on now, get a grip. <laughs> get a grip. <laughs> get a grip. Ruin the car. I, I beg to differ. I would say you've never seen one brown before and you don't know how to take it. That's about the end of it. See that? Put a little rock guard on the edge of that. That'll be missing when it comes time. You'll never notice that. It's a lot better. A lot better. We'll do a little bit up front here. Black that out a little bit. Not sure if you'll see any of that. Better be careful shooting it out that hole, hadn't I? And if you get rock guard on your car, you know how to get it off? Take WD-40, put it on a rag, and wipe it off. It'll wipe off, just keep wiping at it, it'll wipe off. WD-40 and a rag. So I'm just gonna leave that like that for now. You can see how, just put a little rock guard on the edge of that, black that it, when we come down, we'll have, you'll see when we get done, when I pull it off. We're gonna put the wheel on now because we're gonna be taking the wheels off and on this thing. We still got work left to do it, but I really wanted to black that out just to show or make it look nice for me. For me. <laughs> Jack her up a little higher. And this custom stuff is all what you want. Like, if you know what I'm trying to tell you, like, it's what you like, not what everybody else likes. All right. Hello, Fina. Looks better already. Got a white wall on her. So we're going six, 670 15s. We had 14s on it, couldn't find any tires. Didn't really want to buy any tires. Really, to be honest with you, big money when it comes to be buying tires and stuff like this. I bought these off of an old friend of mine that has passed, Wayne, and it's been, his name is Wayne Burns, and he used to come in and chat old cars with me and all that stuff, and he passed way too early, but he sold me these tires off his truck and got something that he wanted, and uh, I was happy to buy them. I think he sold them to me for a couple hundred dollars for white walls, and uh, I usually jump on them because I enjoy the look of them more than the black wall. Uh, also, try to buy some. <laughs> They're expensive.
Should be good. Alrighty. Let's go to the other side. Let's grab another wheel. Do I have another wheel in here? Do I yet? I have to grab one. Ooh, that looks nice. Do we want a clean one on there? Do we want to? Yeah, we want a clean one on there for the front. Let's go to the other side. And also, when when it comes time, if you were, you know, doing going to a show or whatever, and there was a couple other traditional customs there, do you think there would be another brown one? Ah, nope. Dare to be different. Well done, Jolene. Well done. God bless you. I think we're going to go with these caps. We got these caps from Ken Holmes, a friend of ours. We met at Toronto Motorama. We chopped his 33 uh, Plymouth. Um, he gave us these in place of some headlights that we sent him. And uh, we're going to put them on the car. Why not? They look good. I'm happy with them. I'm not sure... Not sure what that must be mercury I'm thinking with the lines on it not sure from what I understand they're they're a valuable and wanted hubcap and they're wanted right on this 50 that's where they're wanted ah. Sometimes hard in the hand, sometimes. Oh, we're looking good now. Hickory dickory dock. Let's get this over the other side. Got a little bit here on this side we're going to tape off. Do the exact same thing. I think these are 57 Ford, I think, hubcaps. that the way good got it off that makes me happy let's bad boy off <clears throat> A small little tire compared to what we're putting back on but there's nowhere as different there's nowhere near what we're gonna get for looks And me and like I said, me and Jolene had to go this morning and, and get these tires put on. I have to thank Valley Tire, our local tire store, that um, put the tires on and balanced them for nada. Says something about the company, to be honest with you. If, you know, if someone's willing to do something like that, um, they're into cars also. But uh, I must thank them. Thanks a lot, Valley Tire. If you want to get your tires changed. Seems like a good spot to me. Appreciate it. Jolene appreciates it. You went in to pay, didn't you? She went in and tried to pay, she said. Basically, what I'm thinking is they're just car people just like us. They have a store in Kenful there where they're selling, uh, I would say, High performance parts and just you know things that um, not everybody's carrying, but they have they have a Willys 
1939 or 40 Willys in the front window of their showroom. And I've got to get in to take a look at it. Because it's it looks so um, nice from the from the road, doesn't it, baby? Mm -hmm. I bet you that's in there. Yeah. <laughs> Don't wanna we'll turn that on first. It was nice of people to tell me to, you know, tighten up the back wheels. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, just that I knew that I was going to be changing the wheels. So basically, I just want to get the fender skirts on to take a look, see how nice they look. And they do look nice. Not this week, next week. Next week, we'll be in Calgary. April 5th. April 5th, we'll be in Calgary. Hope to meet some nice people there, like Winnipeg. I put that wheel on there. Didn't black that out. Anyways, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to black this out with the wheel on because I wasn't paying attention. And I know you were screaming at me on the... But I was not paying attention. I, eager beaver. That's all what you call it, baby. That's exactly what you call it. Eager beaver. I can hit most of it with, with the wheel on, I guess. that turn that in there lock that out and it helps with rocks and all that stuff hitting up inside there But you must admit, it just makes it look so much cleaner and tidier and nicer to have it blacked out. I am going to leave that for now because I'm going to take the wheels are coming back off. We'll have to get the wheels off. Right there. Yeah, that's fine. Alrighty, let's put this thing down. I can black that out after. Wheels have got to come off, but we can see it's blacked out here behind the wheel. Mostly where we're going to see is up in here. Alrighty. Let's let this bad boy down. Nope. Take the jack stand out first. I wonder how high that's going to bring that front end up. Watching it come down, that's all. That just looks so much nicer up in there, eh? Like, you really can't. It's hard. And the reason I, I've got it blacked up in there, because it just looks so much nicer. I'm going to peel this off. And that can go with the inside of the car. Like, it's still, I still got my lip, but I've got a little bit of black going on there, which... It's fine to me. Um, let's say, let's face it. Um, I probably could even go up a little bit further as far as that goes. Probably could go up even a little bit further with the black. Now, if I get any black rock guard, like I said, if I get any black guard, rock guard on the paint, I will take WD-40, spray it on a rag, and just scrub on it, and it'll come off. 
This side has the, the wheel treatment on it. Not sure if you want to show them that yet or not. That one looks real good. That one looks awesome. Man, I think we're going traditional. Alrighty, we got two more, we got two wheels in the back to put on. So what I'm gonna do is, I got one more wheel to scrub, get clean. Let's do this, let's clean a white wall. If you ever have some white walls that look like that, <laughs> that's not good. That's not good. I use spray nine. Spray nine. It cleans the white walls. You can see how, if you come in and take a look real close, you can see how all the dirt is in amongst the rubber and it doesn't look very good whatsoever. Does not. But let's get it cleaned up, make something out of it. Um, why, where's the wire brush that we heard? Do we know? Did we put them back? Yes, we did. That's something I usually do is don't put tools back. Huh? I need that wire brush back. So what I've been doing is I've been taking a wire brush and giving them quite a scrub down. And the reason being is they're stained up quite heavy. An old wire brush will get in there and clean them best they can. I feel like the people at Winnipeg Car Show, everybody was just a spit shining and cleaning, trying to get their cars ready. And uh, <laughs> it was well worth it. Every car in there looked really, 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 really good. I'm thinking that everybody there had a great time. It's funny though, the, the people in the hobby that, you know, I don't know what to say. That, you know, do, do not build cars, but yet promote and show and what? And have the love, the passion of the automobile, how sometimes they're overlooked, if you know what I'm saying. Like Pete there that runs all them shows, like he's making so many people's dreams come true um, that no one even realizes, nobody even realizes really, you know, um, how valuable a person like Pete is to keep the hobby of the cars alive and well. And what I mean by that is to have them car shows all over the world and, you know, to have it running and keep it organized and to invite people like me and Jolene and, and other car builders to come. It's awesome. People like that, I think, need more recognition. I'm sure that would be a big, big job. <laughs> Shelly, the guy that helped us out, come picked us up at the airport and done all that stuff for us. Got to thank him. He's a... nice to meet him. Just trying to get her cleaned off as quick as possible. This is a plastic um, bristle. That was a that's a metal bristle. Plastic ones just to go over it a little bit cleaner, a little finer. This so when we go to put armor on our wheels, it really does the best job it can. Where I've rock guarded underneath the wheel well on the car, ah, I probably should have blew it off a little bit better and all that sort of stuff, but wheels are coming back off and we'll do it again. Because Nathan's gonna put his magic on it. Nathan's got quite a bit of work to do to that car and uh, he's the man for it. What all needs to be done? Um, well, it needs to be done. Well, we need that exhaust running out them exhaust tips. That's one thing that needs to be done. The transmission has to be looked at because it's been leaking like a sieve, and that's okay. It has to be looked at. He has to rewire the taillights, rewire the headlights, possibly get that middle headlight working. The dash has to go back in. And we'll just check everything over before we say it's Good. That's basically what we're going to do. I'm going to go get a rag. It's nice to get the white walls, um, get that spray nine off before it dries. That's why I'm kind of running a little bit. Just 
cleaning the best we can, as fast as we can. That's what we doing. Now, get it up here. We've got our little sprayer. You glad to be home, Fina? Can you give me a, some kind of notion that you're glad to be home? Huh? Did she? Yeah, awesome. We'll wash the... We can wash the wall off, same as the tire. This will probably be the best washing they'll ever get. And the rest will be wear and tear. Wear and tear. So a little spray nine, a little elbow grease. You can make your white walls look like new. Yes, you can. I've had these white walls for probably at least seven or eight years, no doubt in my mind, on that car. Never never turned a mile other than rolling the car around. But the, it sure does remind me of Wayne. And Wayne was a good guy. He had a 38 or I think a 38 Chev truck and he turned the fenders around backwards on the back. He, I did some metal work on it for him. Uh, we, we were friends. So let's get this back jacked up. Yeah, I'll do a little more rock garden on the inside after we get it back up and do it again. Look good. So what's that? You likey likey? Yeah. Ooh, she likey likey boys. Let's go to the back. Now the tricky part is I gotta get them white or the fender skirts off. I don't think there's any other noise I don't like as much as this is the jack on the cement. Let's see what we can get here. I can tell you one thing, lowering a car, it does, it does, it looks fantastic. It's so pleasing, but what a pain in the ass. What a, what a pain in the ass. It's true. Like, this thing back some? Doesn't want to come back some? I'd like to get that foam thing back far enough to hit the bumper, but it doesn't look like I'm going to get it. Tail lights need, yeah, also we need a, uh, a release switch, or not a release switch, run the cable or something to the trunk lid because it's got no lever on the outside now to open it up. So we're going to have to do something about that. And we will. Let's go do that. Alrighty. Now I'm going to take that off. Talking to myself, I'm going to take that off. I'm just going to remember when I take it off that it's got paint on it now. And uh, not to. It's got to come straight down. <laughs> yeah, nice. You, you want to be ready when you pull off a set of bad Chad Fender skirts, that's for sure. You want to be ready. And what I mean by ready is that they come off quick. I'm like a kid in a candy store putting the white walls on it. Kid in a candy store. So we still will not be done. We still not will not be done everything. What I'm going to do here, I'm probably going to do the exact same thing. That's something with nuts of different sizes or the paint on them or something or other. Probably just put a couple nuts on it, tighten it up, so I'll leave a couple loose because we're going to end up taking it back off again. And another thing that I'm very happy with 
is cutting that wheel opening. Um, going over there and getting the wheels that we just cleaned, getting them off Elvis was a chore because you have to jack the car up and let, I wonder if that even still does it. Are you serious? <laughs> Here I'm thinking we did a good thing, but. <laughs> huh? No, what has to happen is the same thing going on again, I guess. It's so low that I still can't get that tire off. That's something. Let me jack that up. I gotta set that piece of frame and let that rear end come down. So we're just gonna do this. Gotta put something underneath that to hold that up. I got a little jack stand over here, I'll grab that. I thought I could get those wheels off here. I was gonna brag and boast, but it was just like my breakfast and when I got it last, they did not butter my toast. <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna put this underneath the frame and then let the rear end down. Hopefully. Ah. Ah. Wow. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. Huh? Think I can get this done in time? What? Get her up a little higher. Alrighty. This is what's gonna happen. So we'll just let. I just got a jack underneath the frame. When I let the wheel down, let this down a little bit, it'll let my rear end down a little bit. And hopefully I can get that tire off. That do anything for me? Come on. That's aggravating. Aggravating. There we go. I guess it's not foolproof yet, is it? And what I mean by foolproof, I couldn't get that wheel off. Um, and we're going to end up taking them off anyways, going over the brakes and everything. That's what I'm thinking. The finish skirt's going back on. Just want to get the wheels on, to be honest with you. And the, like I said, wheels are everything come back off again. Thanks everybody for watching, we appreciate it. We really do. Good reason why not to paint your wheel nuts. Oh my. Okay. All that's going on is a little paint on the, little paint on the wheel nuts, which is making it not work good so we'll jack that back up again 
because we have to for the other side. Get that jack stand it, we'll do the other side. And it should be. Um, don't let them watch, I'll put the cap on this side. We'll put the ones on the back. Looks good against the brown, the white, you know. Looks good. Beautiful. Thanks, Ken. Loving it. Loving it. Loving it. I know one thing, having it jacked up makes it nice to find the holes on the fender skirt. You know what I'm trying to tell you. It's nice. Awesome. Beautiful. You are enjoying. We got one more, one more. We'll have to do the exact same thing on this side of the jack stand, no doubt in my mind. Looks different already. Wow. I love it. I love it. Looks nice. Real nice. Now, this fender skirt. I think I had to fussle with this one here a little bit in the back, but. Straight down. Yeah. How are going? That's good. We're taking the, the wheels back off and fender skirts off again. No doubt in my mind, we're going over all the brakes. We'll be doing the exhaust, that sort of stuff. We'll be going over the whole thing or I won't. Nathan will be because he's the man for it. And the reason I say that is because he's done a lot more mechanical work than I have. Good there. Oh yeah. That's the way to take that tire off, baby. That's the way to take that tire off. Different style of car, different air of a car if I'm gonna use those wheels, in my opinion. I think the word traditional custom is used lightly. And the reason being is because I see a lot of cars, they call them traditional customs, but the paintwork wouldn't be back then, I wouldn't think, for a traditional custom. So I'm thinking that's why I asked Jolene to, you know, let's face it, you know, a brown, a blue, a white, green, yellow, or a red, no metallic, just a maybe could have been color back in the day. And I think she nailed it. I know she nailed it. 
because this color could have been back in the day. No, I want to go up in first. And we have not taken anything. I want to say taken anything. We chopped the roof off, but we not we have not done anything that someone else has done on their car. Their car. I don't think that I've seen yet. Now I've seen a lot of fifties lately, and uh, but we have not. I've not seen what we have done yet. So I'm happy about that also. Sucker back up. Get that jack stand out. Just gonna get that jack stand off the chassis. Good. Pull that out. We need a hubcap. We'll put one, the best one on the front, this one on the back. Go for that. I'm gonna take a rag and wipe that off. Hard to wipe off when the finish skirt's on there. This is the part. This is the scary part. Scary, but you know what I'm saying. Hey, here we go. We're on. Bad boy back down. Got nothing underneath of it. Wheels are on. <laughs> it did pick it up some because the wheels are taller. I'd love to be able to push that back, wouldn't you? All right, let's still just take these tires. Put these back here. Now I'll just clean this up. I'll just shove it back. I think I can get it back myself. And then you can see what, what we got. If I could push it outside, I would. But I'd have an issue with that by myself. I'm just going to shove it back if I can. Put the hubcap on the front. Yeah, I had to get that up. I'll have to take that off and put it up a little higher and do a little bit better. <laughs> oh, 
last rim. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Huh? Yeah, it's my hand. Hold that in. Whoa. Get on there. Come on now. Why are you working against me? Got her. Woohoo! Kicking ass. I actually found another piece of chrome in the box. As we got looking around, there's another piece of chrome for this side, which is a little better than what we have. We haven't got any chrome, no disfigurement down here. This is a better piece. We'll end up probably putting that on. Now, If I shove that out there, sweetheart, you're going to let me know if I'm, I shouldn't hit anything, should I? I'll push her out if you want to stand back and stand in here and watch it come out. And there will be, we'll push it outside, come soon. I just need the guys here, that's all. I think what I'm going to do is going to pull it out from the back bumper. Oh, you rete! Going straight, going good, baby. Doors aren't open. Okay. She's quiet. Can you see the white walls? My what? Oh yeah. We're not worried about that. Can't really see it, can you? That's too bad. That thing's banging. Whoop whoop. Oh good. What? Nice. Noise. Nice. Nice. Load that on a little further. No, it's good. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. I like the white walls on it. Give us. You come back tomorrow. Doug will probably be here. Nathan be here. Nathan, Nathan will be in tomorrow. We'll shove this bad boy outdoors, and we'll really get a good visual of the white walls. Loving it. Thanks everybody for coming back. I really appreciate it. I worked hard to get those on today. I'm out of breath a little bit, but <sighs> I'm happy. What can I say? Looks a lot better. Yeah, it looks a lot better with the with the white walls on it. And we'll get it outside and it'll even look just that much better again. And uh, I want to thank everybody for coming back and paying attention and watching what's going on.